A perfect season so far for the Plano East Panthers, undefeated and ranked number one in the state. And head coach Matt Wester joins us now. Coach, first things first, how does it feel being 26-0? Thank you for having me on. Uh, it, it's a dream. It's a dream. It, it, each day you wake up, you try to you plan on like how to win the next game and you plan to win the next game. And it's, it's fun to, to get to play each game and, and win each game. So, you know, we've been taking it one game at a time, so I haven't really enjoyed – uh, being 26 and 0, we, we enjoyed trying to win one game at a time. Really, I'm sure on some level the team knows they're undefeated, but how do you make sure that this streak doesn't create too much pressure game to game? I hate to make it sound too simple, but you just try to win one game at a time. That's it. I know uh, we have big goals. Like we'd like to win the last game of the year on March the 9th. That's our goal. We just try to keep it simple, uh, keep them focused. We know that every Tuesday and every Friday. Okay, it's going to be a pretty special game for our opponent. They're going to want to try to beat us and, and uh, say we, we beat the top-ranked team in the state. We know we have to show up with our best game, and, and if we don't, we're going to, you know, we'll drop that first game. But that's, that's really not our end goal. Our end goal is to win the last game, so we are also just focused on getting a little bit better each game. Three years ago, this team was 10-13, and 13, finished sixth in district. Then the next year, y'all were 24-9. and nine. Last year, 31-6, and six, finishing second in district. What has it been like seeing this team grow into what they currently are? Well, it really has been a joy. It really has been a joy. So that first, that first team we went uh, 20, 10 and 13, that was the COVID shortened year. Uh, we had, of my 11 seniors, two of them were on varsity that year. Uh, those kids have already won um, over 90 games uh, in their career. And five of them were on JV, and our freshman team was really good. So it's been, it's been just a real joy watching their progress. They've been playing together their whole lives. And so they've been winning Plano Sports Association championships. They've been wearing, winning city championships. They have high, have high expectations of winning. And so uh, it's been fun to get to realize that. At, at last year, 31-5, and five, we lost our last game uh, in Moody Coliseum to uh, the eventual state champions, Lake Highland. We lost by four points. So they, they beat everybody else just about by – 10 to 15 points and so we thought well if we're we're bringing back all but two players the difference between us and the best team in the state is four points I think we have a good chance to close that gap in the next 11 months it's not like y'all haven't been tested this year 10 point game against Allen right out of the gates couple four point wins over Marcus and Rouse in December how much do those tests and just generally playing in the district you guys are in help get you get closer to these win or go home scenarios in the playoffs well that's that's the plan we, we try to schedule the toughest the toughest competition we could schedule. Uh, obviously, our district is very tough with four teams in the top 25, but we entered the toughest tournaments we could schedule and played the toughest teams we could schedule with, with one goal in mind, which was to, to win the last game. So uh, I guess time will tell when we get into the playoffs. I think the fact that we are uh, first in our in a, such a tough district and, and we have seven games left um, indicates that the tough, the tough schedule has been good for us. There are any number of guys on this roster we can focus on, but I want to ask about the big guy in the middle, DJ Hall. What's it like having him be the anchor of this team down low, at least? Well, it's, it's very unique. I mean, there's, there's really nobody quite like DJ Hall. A year and a half ago, he was a sophomore, and we, we weren't really planning on him being a part of, the, part of the team or a big part of the team. His progress was just straight up. He got better and better every week. He got, he got in better shape, and, and it didn't take long for us to realize, oh, this, we have something really special here. Um, once, the, once the season got going last year, I think it was about December, we realized, oh, he, this kid's going to be really good. And then uh, he just continues to get better. Like, like every, every week, he gets better than he was before, and, and he does things other players don't do. He's a highly, highly skilled player with a high basketball IQ. Uh, we played Hebron at, at our house the other day, and I believe he was eight for eight from the field and didn't miss a shot. Um, and then he's he's probably one of the best passers in the area. Uh, certainly one of the best passers I've coached. So it, it's really fun to coach him because he can, you know, with the ball in his hands, he, he plays good basketball, and, and he does things other players just don't do. Six games left in the regular season. Aside from obviously winning those games, what do you want to see from your guys down the stretch as you build toward the playoffs here? Our goals is just to get to get a little bit better each game. So uh, this this week will be one of the tougher weeks of the year. We have uh, Flyer Mound Marcus first, and then Louisville on Friday. Louisville, their only loss of the season is to us, and so we're going to focus on 
on winning those two games and, and trying to get just a little bit better. Coach, again, thank you so much for making the time on this Sunday. Good luck, and we hope to talk to you again down the road. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.